Hey guys, we are out in this beautiful forest and I wanted to talk today a little bit about quitting. Because sometimes we feel like we want to quit. Sometimes we feel like the universe works against us, right? But let me tell you something. Yesterday I woke up in the morning and I felt like, why am I doing this? Why am I doing all of that? every single day posting videos is it really like meaningful and of course I can go through comments and I can see thousands of positive comments but I could focus just on one negative and I would say is it really worth it and things like that but you know like sometimes we fall into these lower emotions I will not say negative emotions because that's just our perception, you know, but lower emotions, if we look on the scale of emotions here and you can see like on the, on the bottom there are emotions of anger and fear and stress and anxiety and these emotions are separating us from our dreams, from goals. So I woke up and I was thinking like I just want to quit, I just want to to be with myself and then I started thinking like why I'm thinking these thoughts and you know it's so easy to get lost in them, it's so easy to say like to define yourself by the thoughts and you know that it's not actually a thought that is causing it, it's an emotion. When we feel these emotions, as I mentioned before, when we feel these emotions, we start defining ourselves by these emotions. Like, I feel sad, I'm a sad person. I feel bad, I'm a bad person. I feel unworthy, I'm unworthy. And so on. I feel angry, am I an angry person? What is wrong with me? And so on, right? But then I decided to go out in the nature and as soon as I stepped into the nature I knew exactly why, why I'm doing what I'm doing. It's the feeling. The feeling of connection, the feeling of love, the feeling of being one with all the trees, with the nature, with, with everything. That's the feeling that we should seek for. Like we should search more for how to get this feeling, how to create this feeling within us. Because we all know that nature has this healing vibe, right? You just step into the nature and if you stop thinking, you're healed mentally. Because you get back into the present moment and here's a trick. When you are present, you don't think about the problems, about the past, about what is wrong, what is good. You don't judge, you don't analyze. You're here right now. And when we are present, it's so beautiful. Because we are truly in this blissful state. When we are in the blissful state, all we want to do is to make sure that everyone would step into that state with us as well. And that's why I'm doing it. That's why I'm sharing this content every single day with you. And when sometimes we fall into that trap of emotions where we want to quit, it's not you, it's your mind, it's the bodies in the past. Let's talk about it. So when we feel bad, when we feel these emotions of separation from our dreams, we start thinking what is causing them. We start thinking like, why I feel bad? And sooner or later we find the answer, right? I feel bad because that happened yesterday. That person said something to me, something mean. I feel bad now. As soon as we find the reason, we say, okay, I should really feel bad. Body will say, it's okay, I should really feel bad, I'm really a bad person. And 
whatever mind is thinking, body is experiencing some. So firstly we recognize emotions, then we start thinking why we feel that way. And suddenly we create back this circle of thinking and feeling which creates our state of being. And we got trapped in the past. We are lost in our past and we don't know how. Like that's our own only reality. All we can see is what we've experienced. So we are living basically in the past but, but physically in the present moment, lost mentally in the past and we don't know what to do. So also I'm experiencing it sometime and everyone is going through it. So it's totally natural. It's not something that we should deny or say it's not real. Of course it is but the question is like do we really want to define ourselves by these thoughts, by these emotions, or at one point we will say, I'm not these thoughts, I'm not this emotion, I'm observing it. So when we realize that we are actually observing what we are thinking, we are observing what we are feeling, when we find that out, we find out that we are actually eternal consciousness behind experiencing these thoughts and emotions. I'm an internal consciousness sitting here in the woods, talking with you, having this experience. I can choose what I will think, I can choose what I will feel. So we need to learn that we actually have the power to, to awaken any kind of emotion, to think any kind of a thought. We have the power. And as I said before, when we're thinking and feeling the same way, we create a state of being. So just imagine if you can think and you thought, for example, I'm truly worth it. You need to feel this thought because otherwise this thought will be empty. So when you start thinking new thought, I am worthy. You need to turn off all the thoughts which are saying that you are not so how to do it? You need to focus on just one thought and nature will support you. So go outside in the nature and do it. I am worth it. Everything is flowing to me. I am a kind person. I am a loving person. Everything I do, I do for the greater good. I truly love myself. I truly love how the nature is treating me. All the abundance is flowing to me right now because I feel abundant. I am generating abundance. There's more of them. I am that I am. You know, remember what Buddha said. Know they self. Know thyself means know everything about yourself. Know everything about your thoughts, your emotions, your actions, your habits. When you know everything about yourself, then he said, now forget everything about yourself and you will experience enlightenment by the universe. You will be enlightened by everything in the universe. So it's actually about relearning what we know because we've been programmed to think a certain way. We've been programmed to feel bad when you do something which is against what people around you want you to do. So we think that when we follow our heart but we do something which is against what people are expecting something to do from us, we feel bad. And then we feel unworthy. And we feel like we will lose all these friends and family members just because you decided to follow your heart. Sometimes we are going against the rules, but the rules are illusions made from them. So if you want to quit, firstly ask yourself, is it truly my heart's desire to quit? If yes, then quit and do something else. If no, Ask your heart what is truly your 
desire, if there is actually a, need, a desire or if there's actually a much stronger force moving through you, wants you to express something. Because we are always talking about creative expression. Creatively express yourself. So what it is, you know when we experience this feeling of love, as we were talking in the yesterday's video, love that you feel, the greatest energy there is, prana, which is moving through you, when you feel this energy, and when you want to express it somehow, but you don't know how, like, Maybe you want to write something, maybe you want to draw something, maybe you want to, I don't know, go outside in the nature and build something. Whatever it is, when you feel that urge to create something, that's when life is moving through you and you're actually giving life to life. Like you would be making love with life, which is kind of amazing because that's where we start truly expanding our awareness, our consciousness and we go beyond all the problems, beyond all the thoughts which are separating us from who we want to be, beyond all the emotions. We are actually on a whole another level of thinking and feeling and that's amazing. So if you feel like quitting, just ask yourself why you feel that way right now. Because you will start thinking, that happened to me. And it's actually a great thing because you will become aware, okay, even if that happened to me, am I the person that I'm describing myself by these thoughts or am I an observer of that person? Within me, like... Am I observer of myself right now, asking myself why I think that way? And when we find out that we are actually observers, who is choosing the thoughts? Who is choosing the thoughts that you're thinking? I'm not saying to you what you should think. You are deciding what you will think. And each thought will trigger emotion. Emotions, any kind of emotion which can be related to that thought. So, you as an ob observer, choosing what you want to think, you can think greater thoughts. Think greater than how you feel, and you will feel greater than how you feel right now. That's how you are actually evolving yourself. Today you are on a certain level of consciousness, on a certain level of awareness, but with each work you do, your inner work, becoming aware of what you, f what you think and how you feel and how you want to think, how you want to react to the world's challenges. Every time when you are asking these questions, you are evolving because you are becoming more aware of them. As soon as you become more aware, aware of them, you are not the same person anymore. Because you know that you are not defined by them. You are not defined by your past. You are not defined by the problems. You are not defined by the thoughts. You are observer. You can choose what, with what you will define yourself. If you even want to define yourself. There is no need to. You are a free being. We are all free beings. And every time we step in nature, we will feel that. We are free as a birds. So when we feel it, we want to express it, right? You are not the same person anymore. So when you become a new person, you will experience new things. And it's all about awareness. So becoming more aware. More you are aware of what you are thinking, what you are feeling more you are changing yourself and then you can choose what you will think. Like I said before, small, short affirmations. I am truly worth it. And fill it with your heart, my friend. Like, you can touch your heart and just say, I am worth it. 
I truly am. I feel like the light is flowing through me. I'm worth it of that light. That's who I am. Everything is flowing to me. I'm making the best possible decisions. I'm making everything good for everything. I'm changing myself. Changing my habits is as easy as, as thinking about them. Every single day I'm growing, I'm evolving. Tomorrow I will be the greatest version of myself. And today I will do everything I can so I will get there tomorrow. And because tomorrow will happen right now, you know that with each step you make, you're closer to it. So you are changing yourself. You're not a victim here. You can see you're an observer. Observer which is consciously choosing what he or she wants to experience. So before you quit, truly think from a different level of awareness. Because right now you're not the same person anymore. As soon as you truly become aware of everything, just look around you a little bit. If you're in the nature, look at the trees, how old they can be, how much wisdom they can like, have. Truly beautiful. And you need to remind yourself that the reason that you're alive right now is because you're a pure blessing. You're a blessing, you're a gift, you're a miracle. That's why you're alive right now. And that's truly beautiful. So before you're quitting, my friend, remind yourself that you are a miracle. And you're a unique being right here. With a certain mission. Maybe you don't know yet why you're here. But you know that something within you knows that there is something to express. Something which can change the world. And that's why you're here. So I'm sending you love from this beautiful nature. I'm sending you power and blessings. Remind yourself that you are love. You are infinite love. Having this beautiful human experience so you can live, you can love and you can express yourself. That's it my passionate creators, I'm sending you love once again and see you soon. Peace.